Welcome back with the Literate Book Club, and we are going to do our talk over commentary of John Wick Chapter 2. Yeah, and, and this is your loving dog movie? Well, you know, it's a continuation. It's it's the Love Your Dog trilogy. So there's no dogs in this? There's a dog. Oh. Well, there, anyway, we'll see. I, I've never seen it. Matt's never seen it. I'm going to talk over it in a way to tell him about everything you know, yeah. the things that you don't want people to do when you're actually watching movies the first time. So you're going to be like literally commentary and like telling me what's about to happen. Yes, right before it happens. It's going to be fun. I'm going to have a fun. Please, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> See, so sync up and get ready. Yep. Uh, so we'll we'll chant it over to the audio. Yeah. And uh, also, like and subscribe. Yeah. And Leave comments. Mm-hmm. And did uh, we say, and maybe you did, about John Wick Chapter 3? Oh, yeah. We're going to be watching that next week coming out, and we'll we'll give you a review on it. Absolutely. So we'll see you, or you'll hear us later. Bye. On out there. Okay, so we are back with Thunder Road. Just went out of view. And now now we see the cityscape. And we hear a car. A motorcycle. Yeah, or whatever. I've never seen this movie. And a car. So, So, right. So this is going to be part me commentating and part Matt reacting. Right. So John will probably be ruining this movie. He's like literally going to be talking every over Every piece it. of the way, I'm going to ruin it. And here comes the guy, no longer on his bike. This is not proper motorcycle maintenance, but... <laughs> oh, okay, so that's John. And then Wick. in the awesome old school hot rod car that he got in movie one. So wait, is... You're that he didn't destroy? I, you don't have to commentate every... Yep. Oh, wow. He's the, I, Now I know how annoying this really is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they make these things seem like a big deal, but this is actually how I get to work every day. Uh-oh. <laughs> I have someone chase me. On right, the right. So how long is this taking place after the first one? This is like almost immediate. I mean, this is so he maybe, just, maybe within like a couple of weeks. So he never month, stops maybe, killing. Or something like that. Yeah. He just... Well, this is like the cleaning up. Gotcha. I see. I don't remember that much. I mean, I saw. I mean, I love the first one. I just hadn't. So seen the first it one time. ends with him killing his boss. Yeah, I remember that. Like, right. That was a big fight for like some reason. Yeah, he, could yeah, he kill was everybody injured. so easy, and then that guy he yeah. had trouble well, with. Well, you know, it's was, it was a boss fight. There's always yeah. that extra. So he's enough. It's long enough that he got healed up a bit. Okay. And looks super cool. Well, he always looks super cool. Yeah, that's true. See how Keanu Reeves, when I talked to you the other day, he was very uh, odd. He's cool, but he looked like he might have been on something. <laughs> no, that's just him. That's, that's yeah, his that personality. His personality. Yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, really? He's like, you know yeah. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Like, after I started, like, seeing him in public and doing those interviews and stuff, I'm like, I'm, I'm not critical of his acting anymore because, that, like, that's he's, how that's he, he is. That's he he is that kind of person. Like, right. At first, I thought like maybe he's just he's over the. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, yeah. Keanu Reeves is Keanu Reeves. Right. This is one thing I liked about this movie series is this world building they've done. So this is a chop shop where they have gold bars and these lavish sort of. Uh, smuggling operations so this very high class criminal underground so he looks like the same guy from the last one is that gonna be like the guy's brother yeah that's that's definitely his brother okay (laughs) (laughs) we'll we'll find out here in a moment in dialogue i wonder who's gonna be the boss in this (laughs) yeah no these are still these are still russian mafia guys gotcha what i love about this this is the this is the guy and i'm gonna shoot myself for not remembering his name he played satan and constantine Right. And so I think this is like the first movie appearance they've had together since Constantine. Yeah. He's he's one of the, like my favorite actors. Like he's always he's in these great movies, but he's always like this like interesting side character. Mm-hmm. So he's describing the fact that he has Wasn't... John Wick's car in the chop shop. The car that was stolen. For a car. Okay. Yeah. Not just a car. Okay. Baba yeah. Yaga. So I feel like 
wasn't wasn't his wasn't the nephew uh the, uh, Theon? Yeah, yeah. The actor that plays Theon Greyjoy, yeah. Yeah. Because I remember not liking him multiple times. <laughs> yeah. But he's, he's redeemed himself. He's good at that kind of acting. He's good at those kind of characters, I guess. He might have redeemed himself. I don't know. Not, not this character. But we character. can't talk about that because some people might not see it. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Theon. Theon is uh... irredeemable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> Oh, gosh. If you really want to show someone who's boss, you make them swallow their own cigarette. That's... Hard thing about this is trying to keep this somewhat turned down. Yeah. Piano wire. Kills three men in a bar with a pencil. You've been watered down. Yep. So that's a really like good setup for how over how much bigger this movie is becoming than the first one. Hmm. Like what you're gonna see him pull off. <clears throat> Duh. Is that hello in like Russian? Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they have a different word for everything. <laughs> it's it's like what? This is a big piece. Baba Yaga. I call him Boogeyman. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh, uh, someone didn't silence their phone before the beginning of the movie. It was totally my wife. Oh my goodness. I'm just kidding. It was We're me. gonna enact the new <laughs> law of like kicking people out. <laughs> it was totally me. He found that's, his car. He it's knew actually it. our other friend, John, asking when we're going to go see John Wick 3. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> Serendipity. Next week when it comes out on the 17th. Exactly. Plug, plug, hint, hint. <laughs> but are we? I think we're waiting <laughs> a little bit. Well, we're going to watch that on like the 18th or 19th. Yeah. Right. I'll text him back later. Because we aren't cool enough to go on opening night yet. That's probably my favorite part is quietly starting this monstrous motor that's automatically alerting everyone to your presence. Yeah, but he was scared because he's the Bobby Ega. I know. I had to probably turn it down during the music because if the music gets on there, they'll be like, oh, we got you for copyright infringement. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> no other movie it's only have music. I seen do they have like an all out car fight. Well, like they have car to be a chases. Horse fight in the next one. They had they had horse fights. They had car chases. But no, this... I'm saying in the next one, it's like him on a horse. Oh yeah, they have that. him on a horse. Yeah. yeah. In the trailer, so yeah, there's definitely going to be more of that. It's just going to get bigger and bigger. I really appreciate also about these movies the level of uh, visual storytelling. Since most of it's an action, right? I mean, there's very little dialogue yeah. so far. Yeah, I know. There's been, like, nothing so far besides so, the guy talking. So, like, all this storytelling. I mean, right now it's all action, but still mm -hmm. there's a great deal of storytelling done visually in this movie. I feel like these are, like, they took, like, the better parts of the Matrix and made this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, my favorite, like, and I'm going to, I'm me annoyed because I, like, I heard this. It's not my opinion. I've heard this from someone else. I can't remember who to quote on this. Oh, well, then. But says. John said, is completely saying this is his. I know, right? Uh. Totally. Totally. <laughs> but it's, uh, my favorite review was that someone said that this was the, like, John Wick 1 was the best 90s movie ever made. 
<laughs> it's fun. 90s action. Yeah. And it's true. I mean, this is like in the vein of those great action movies of that era, but it's done on another level. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Apparently you shouldn't just play chicken with John Wick. He he will smash his car to get you out of his way. Wait, so that's the car he stole back? Yeah, that's his car that he's rescuing now that is smashed to pieces <laughs> right. on the process of getting it out. And now he's about to... I think, uh, kids, this is what you would call vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> Golly. Oh, wow. Yep, that's definitely... Uh, a crime. And that's why you wear your seatbelts. John Wick doesn't wear a seatbelt. Because nothing can ever kill the cool. Mm -hmm. I don't quite remember what the deal was with the car. Like how... Why it was a classic. It was just this great car. Okay. That he liked, and the kid wanted to buy it from him. Remember, he was... Oh, and that's why he killed the dog. Yeah, because he was at the gas station, and he, like, had the dog with him, and the guy, off, and the Russian kid offered to buy and it off of him. He said it's not for sale. And he kind of dissed him, and so they followed him home and took everything. I also love the fact that even as great as Keanu Reeves already is... In Hollywood, as a you know, for all the things he's done, mm -hmm. these movies have like just amplified his legend as like this awesome guy who's like a hard worker, and mm -hmm. it's like apparently everyone who like has trained with him for these movies, he's like just relentless. Yeah, supposedly in getting you know, these action does, sequences down. Yeah, like he doesn't do his own stunts, but he does his own action stunts. If that makes sense, like right, his certain, own certain fight, things. But he's fighting, fighting. Like he's doing this right. fighting. That's what I mean. He fights. Yeah. Maybe the stuff with the explosions, they'll right. have somebody else, but yeah. Oh, man. It looked like Batista for a second. Don't don't say that. Well. <laughs> okay. Maybe <laughs> a little bit. I guess. This is also superb acting on here. Just this guy waiting in an office, hearing all the carnage outside. What label is that? Black label. Oh, there. The guy's going to try to kill him, and he's going to die. I know where, that's, where this is going. No. Nah. Classy move, though. I mean, he kills all his guys. Destroys his facility here. Gets his car back, but still is like, okay, I'm done. We're waiting. We're going to stop here. Oh, gosh. So, let me see. Let the guy live so that guy's going to have revenge on him? Is that, is no, no, that's cool. definitely not where it's going. Okay. Well, I, I think know. the guy knows not to mess with John Wick. He's smarter than his brother. Okay. His brother wasn't that smart. I guess it was his son. Cool opening sequence here. Mm -hmm. James Bondish without the silhouetted women. Yeah, where's the silhouetted woman at?
Well, at least he got it back. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get that rain done. Right. You better get to have a crate. Don't mess up the paint job. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll all buff out. Yeah. <laughs> I think you got a crack in your mouth. You might want to get that checked out. You don't want that to shatter on you. <laughs> yeah, right. That, that, that'll just spider web. You know, that'll just spread all over the windshield. As solemn as this moment is, you know, it's the it's a card from his deceased wife. I, I kind of wish it was one of those, like, music playing cards that when he opened it, it played, like, a really obnoxious song. I think it would have added to the moment. Oh, he has a new dog? He Remember, he got that from the vet where he went to stitch himself up at the end of the movie? Mm. He got a dog. He has a new dog. So he got a new dog at the end of the mo- first movie. So, if you hear somebody else asking questions besides me, my wife is watching this too for the first time. All right. So. The same who watched It it 2 trailer with me. Right. In, a, in another post that may or may not be posted before this comes out. <laughs> so, that would be... Yeah, very weird. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Great. Now I know what order I have to post these. Yep. In. <laughs> I've forced your hand. Mwahaha. Is that a pit? Yeah, it looks mm-hmm. like it. It's like a really obedient dog, too. Because remember in the first movie, he just, like, follows him. He just, like, takes it out and is like, all right, let's go. Oh, he gets a leash for it, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that guy a cop? No, no. Remember, he's the the other body shop guy. Mm. He was the first guy he went to when his car got stolen in okay. the first movie. It's been a long time. God. Ridiculous. I'm going to have to explain everything to you. Probably. Now, see, this guy was from the depths of hell, and he's a clown. Oh, yeah. You know, that's... So, yeah, how'd he get out of Spawn? <laughs> <laughs> no one gets out of Spawn. <laughs> Although, if they ever remake Spawn, I, I would really like to see him reprise that role. I think he did they really well. They are supposed well. to be remake Spawn. Yeah. I mean, I just think he did so well in that. That's like the only good part about that movie. Yeah. So again, for for my two who have not seen the first one, since you know he's returning everything back to the cellar vault. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Where he smashed the floor to get all his equipment out. So he's like rich, <laughs> mm-hmm. but he'll never use the coins unless he has to. He's so wise. He's like Keanu Reeves or something. <laughs> Why do I feel like this this isn't going to be a movie about him just retiring? I think there's probably going to be more to it. You know, <laughs> actually, I appreciate it because I've seen like now a few movies where someone busts the concrete of a, of like a basement to get some hidden thing out. But this is the first time you see them actually cementing it back up. Mm. You know, there's a lot of hard work in that. There's a library down there. Oh my goodness. Of course, as soon as he finishes. It's 
probably some form of that Assassin's League, I guess. You would probably be correct. How many languages do you know? Well, at least three. It's way too many. <laughs> We're Americans. <laughs> there's only there's only two languages you need to know. English and American. <laughs> <laughs> and you only really don't need to know the English part. Yeah. Unless you like crumpets. <laughs> you like <some> crumpets. <laughs> America. So stupid. Coffee. You know, word gets around fast in this really secretive community. <laughs> they have their own Twitter. I <laughs> see. <Yeah. laughs> they have their own Facebooks. Updated status is wife dead. Yeah. Well, the part you didn't see about John Wick 1 was he was Instagramming the whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Facebook live. <laughs> yeah. He just has a selfie with him and the Russian right after he kills him. Right. Ooh, that shouldn't say that. It's probably like... Yeah, that's probably some code word or something. No, no. I'm just saying, like, people might do that or something. Like, that's that's really depressing. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. This is a horrible world we live in. So he's trying to get him, get him come back and be an assassin. Then? So, how he got his retirement? Right, he had to do something impossible to be able to leave. Mm -hmm. He made a blood pact with that this he, guy. This guy helped him accomplish what he needed to accomplish to leave. Okay. And so now, after finding out that he had been killing people again, he's calling in a favor. Mm. He's calling in his pact. Gotcha. And he can't refuse. Honor. Yeah. Well, if he refuses, then yeah. he dies. So he's trying to get him to do something. Yeah. So you'll kill for a puppy, but you won't kill for honor. You have no honor. Okay, I'm not kind of entirely sure. He obviously knows that shit's going to go back down after this. Like, why did he... Why did he refuse the guy? So essentially he's... Trying to get him to kill somebody. <clears throat> if he... If, yeah, if, whatever he's going to ask him to do, he doesn't want to happen. And, you know, John Wick's giving him a chance to not get him involved because... John Wick's such a badass person that once you get him involved, lots of people are going to die. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't like what you're going to have him do, then you're probably going to die too. Rocket launcher. 
or a, that's a sniper rifle. Oh. No, it's oh, like a, a grenade launcher kind of. That was a really nice home, though. I mean, my goodness. So, John Wick's his master assassin, but he could not tell that that guy was not being truthful when he said, uh, bye. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I, think I, I mean, I, John, I read the situation. Right. John Wick's, I think, the kind of guy who, would like, waits for you to do something and then gets revenge. Right. Knowing that he is, he, he has the high ground. It's the reluctant killer thing, right? I mean, he's, we like him because you have anybody he, else he doesn't who did want this? to kill. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a joke from the first one, right? Yeah, you okay, John? Yeah. When John Wick works, things get blown up. Actually, I think this is like a a promo for unemployment. This is like <laughs> you know, if if this much destruction and death happens when someone goes to work, <laughs> think of how peaceful the world would be if we let people not work. So you you're going for UBI then. <laughs> there you go. You know, if if John Wick had just his basic needs met, then he wouldn't have to kill people. Checking in, John. You know, I've never really met people from the criminal underground, but I do like the idea that there is this whole, like, subculture of really polite and fancyful people who are, like, live to these, like, amazing code of honors. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. No. It's kind of like what we thought about with uh, politics. Now we know that everybody's a moron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't think they're actually having intelligent conversations. No, no. There just is... They're just as idiotic as the rest yeah. of them. Yep. No, you're stupid. <laughs> that actually looks familiar. But I can't I can't get this one. I'd rewind it, but you know. We're we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Everyone rewind <laughs> simultaneously. Alright, we're gonna go back <laughs> ten seconds. <laughs> This is another great actor. It's like yeah, always. he's awesome. Did you see the new Hellboy? Yeah, I did. Did you like it? I didn't I, like it. I like parts of it. I like some. I like some of the styling choices, and yeah. I liked him. He yeah, was, he's good. Him as uh, Papa Papa Hellboy. Yeah. I wasn't a big fan of it. I mean, it's hard to, like, the Ron Perlman, mm -hmm. Del Toro movie is just hard to. Uh. Thank you. 
So. Good dog. The dog doesn't have a name. That's mean. No, it doesn't have a name. His yeah. name is Good Dog. That's, good that's, dog. that's the name. John Wick, I guess, doesn't want to get attached to any more dogs. <laughs> <laughs> My heart's been broken too many times. <laughs> right. Things I name die. You know what's going to happen next. Oh, yeah. I wonder if she just is like, hey, can we do that like 20 more times? I don't feel comfortable with that take. I think I'm going <laughs> to do that again. I knew it. All our collectors are, are underground villains. It's just, just a fact of the world we live in. I always wondered how super people got super rich. <laughs> it's obviously being an elite assassins. Yep. So we gotta find out how to join. Mm. I think I'll I'm just good. stay poor. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just camp out at the Continental. Be like, hey guys, <laughs> what's going on? Does that guy even kill anybody? <laughs> <laughs> yes. One of us? I'm a master assassin. I kill time like nobody's <laughs> business. Because it is my business. Gotta hate when you know, like guys that flaunt knowing that you can't do anything. I guess he loves his sister. Are you sleep eater and John Wick? <laughs> so, this is an awkward conversation. Look, I. All right. So, I didn't quite catch that. So, there's this, I guess, seats of everybody, like 12 seats. And when the father dies, she's basically going to be in line to sit on it. So. She already is. So, like, so that's when the, firm, the previous conversation with the owner of the Continental said that somebody else's rules. So, you, you had the two rules, no blood on the Continental. 
and that's what he enforces. Mm-hmm. But then every marker has to be honored is enforced by the council. Are they the pro diem or something? Part yeah. of the diem? The, 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 that's be, what the name of the third one is. Right, they're going to be involved in the third one, as you'll see. But uh, okay. it's jumping so ahead, she, jumping ahead. so th- when their father died, she, he willed the seat that he possessed to her rather than the son. Okay. But so if he was to kill her, then isn't he going to be, okay, never mind. That's, so that's if he kills, so like he kills her, then he's breaking some other rules, right? Not, well, I mean, he's honoring his pacts and that, well, that's, it's this impossible thing. Mm. It's an impossible situation. So he has to act like he's not going to kill her or basically make it. like. Well, he, he has to get in and out without anyone noticing. Mm-hmm. So he's not necessarily breaking rules. He just if he gets caught, he is. No, because that's saying like, it's not it's not against the rules to kill someone. On the, you just can't kill someone on the continental, and he can't break the pact. Like those are the only two rules they have. But killing her means people are going to come after him, who would who would support her. Okay. And that wouldn't be breaking the assassin's code. It would, but it would be pissing a lot of people off. Exactly. Yeah. As we'll we'll come to discover i think i thought this movie was about over <laughs> yeah we're uh 30 30 minutes in and we're we're about done it's a really good short film but there's a really long blooper reel at the end <laughs> how might be pop the mics i want one of those coins man just one coin Get a hotel room? For how long? For like ever. Yeah. I like how they find someone who looks really similar to the other Continental owner. Mm-hmm. Because this is like the Continental Rome okay. branch. So... Is the guy who owns the Continental? Is he one on the? Is he on one of those seats? I think he's like a. There's like different organization parts, and so he's not on the council. He he represents a different part of this underground world, <clears throat> and so does this guy. So like, right? The Continentals are all like holy ground. Which areas. one's the engineer? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or the architect? That's right. <laughs> I'm the well, architect. <laughs> we we meet him in the third one. Okay. It's sort of like the Matrix. In right. There. Right. Oh God. I hope. <laughs> I hope it lands better than the Matrix did. John Wick sacrifices himself for peace. Oh, God, please not. John Wick Jesus. <laughs> That's what Neo was. Yeah. Although this is, I like how it's showing more of the underground in this movie. So you yeah. can see him, like, coming to all these hidden businesses, mm-hmm. backdoor businesses. So they're in, he's in Rome? He's in Rome, yeah. Mm. Well, when in Rome, he's going to... Waste gold coins, apparently. Jesus, how many? (laughs) I know, right? But (laughs) all it takes is like one or two for really good stuff. I love this one. You'll like this. He's like M <laughs> or whatever from James Bond. They just make crime look so classy.
Lining tactical. I love that line. It's just... Who needs a bulletproof vest when you can have a bulletproof suit? Oh, and then all the b blueprints. Like, I need a blueprints guy. I need a guy that I can go to and be like, hey, can I get you to do like a an analysis of this like old building that I need to infiltrate secretly? <laughs> So you're not going to die, you're just going to feel like you got shot. That makes sense. Old keys. Black on black on black. Now that we've gotten through the um, the awkward silence of preparing to go kill someone, we can go through the awkward silence of walking into an empty how an empty building or ruins. I don't know what this is. If you can't tell, I was obviously here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I was just sitting by myself, not really sure what to say. Look, at, <laughs> there's the old keys again. I think you could have broken that chain. I don't think you needed the key. I mean, let's be honest. That's a pretty big old chain. You know, I don't know if I'm going to do many things in my life, but if I ever go to a Roman ruin and experience a rave like this, I think I'll have lived. I want to go to Europe really bad. That's one place I haven't traveled much. Yeah, I think, uh, you know... I mean, there's a Any lot of travel. places I haven't traveled with. Yeah, there's a whole world out there. Look at that. Playing a, a kind of hybrid guitar thing with a bow. Look at that. This is also what I want to do. I want to I want to enter a party hiring four bodyguards to follow me. Because anyone who has four people following them like that looks important. Like just <laughs> You don't have to be important. You just look like you're important. I mean, if I saw four people following somebody, I'd be like, "Is that guy famous?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. Little girl. And then pay a couple of people to be in the audience like, "Oh my god, look at that." And then just yeah. like taking pictures of you. Yeah. It's so and so, you know. So yeah, this is what he's gonna be doing. So that's who he's supposed to be killing. Yeah, that's the sister. Mm. And there's a, uh, uh, I know, common. Common, yeah. He's. I'll let you. I mean, he's, yeah, he's a very rare actor. But he's. <laughs> he he does well. He does I good was, for himself. I was just being funny. Yeah, because he's. His name's Common. Yeah. So I said he's well, a rare actor. 
it's funny because he also doesn't really act a whole lot yet. I mean, he's been in a couple things, but <laughs> so it's like a triple entendre. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He is really good. I've I've enjoyed him yeah. in most stuff that I've seen. What was it? He was in now, like now you see me two or something like that. Mm. Or was it the first one? No, he's in the second one. You know, the one about the magicians yeah, 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 who yeah, yeah. heist no, no, things? No, no, no. It took me a second, but I For the common that. good? Yeah. <laughs> common good. He's a... He he started off as a rapper, right? I mean, he probably still is one. And I, I, didn't, I, don't <laughs> mean, I just didn't know. I, I'm not as familiar with his music, no. But yeah, That's he, what I'm he, asking. He started off in the music world. I mean, he's a very, like, outspoken politically person, I think. Hmm? Nothing wrong with that, I was just saying. Mm-hmm. Just make making statements now. Yes, I'm just. I'm just. Are you talking. reading from his Wikipedia page? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Dang it! Watch the you movie. Caught me. <laughs> yes, I don't know who this band is. We should look up who this band is because I'm. I'm going to hire them from an ex bar mitzvah. <laughs> I like. I like how we we build. You're not even Jewish, <laughs> <laughs> so you build like. Do you, um, do you have to be one to like have a bar, have a bar mitzvah? mitzvah? I thought I could That's just like, racist. To make, <laughs> you're gonna not let me have a bar. Mitzvah. Like I thought it was just like anytime you felt like you were becoming a man, you throw yourself a party. <laughs> so you wait until you're 35. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like everyone reaches adulthood in different spaces, yeah. right? Yeah, now we get to see what kind of person she is. Are she, we going to feel bad about her dying? That's the question here. Nothing was taken. She's not a great person. What'd she do? She apparently like was gonna kill a bunch of kids and held a bunch of kids hostage to take to get them to agree to give her property and, and territory. So and stuff. She's evil. <laughs> yeah. But she's not the most evil, I don't think. Yes. She's still like running an underground criminal organization. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what he does for you, other than. I mean, obviously a lot of things. Yeah. So they're really saving on the electrical bill. Yeah, I mean. But that wax bill. Oh man, replacing those candles like every every day. Oh no, those are candles made from the blood of her enemies. Apparently, that's That's what they look like. (laughs) Gonna be her. She lives in ruins with a ready-made mm. hot tub. There he is. Is he in the mirror? Is he Alice? I had red in my ledger. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Black Widow. <laughs> <laughs> I've read just like everyone else. Death's very emissary. Ah. Should have known. Was it magic? <laughs> Was it a magic mark? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, not my best word. Can I, like, hire an assassin to make sure that when I die, like, my death feels this classy and sophisticated and (laughs) meaningful? (laughs) 
So this is where she explains that she is the better sibling. And that her brother is just an asshole. So she's going to get naked before she dies? Well, I mean, wouldn't you? <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> go, in, go in as I came out. Go out as I came right, out. Right, right. Well, I guess she, she really wants that last bath, you know. Are you trying to seduce me, Mr. Wick? So they're not going to show nudity because, you know, they're going to show a lot of violence, but nudity, that would be that'd Look, be this is much. this is obviously an American-made movie. <laughs> right. And we're much more comfortable with killing people than with, nu- with, nudity. with nudity and raw sexuality. That's That's obvious here. show her body she killed herself she is the master of her own fate wow. she she really she was coming there to kill her she really hated the tattoos she had in her forearms yeah jeez You know, I too take philosophy from Frank Sinatra. I did it my way. Yeah, you ever heard that song? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I got the joke. It just wasn't that funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to go. I'm going to go wash this burn. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little disturbed, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm trying to make jokes. <laughs> I'm, I'm this is a really serious moment. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, I, don't, I, was, I went from. You're really facing your mortality with this here. If you yeah. were going to die, stop it, John. <laughs> by the hands of John Wick, uh, that would be awesome. I mean, would you rather him do it or you do it to maintain control over your life? Uh, pretty sure I'd give him the honor. <laughs> <laughs> Just get it over with, man. Come on, Keanu Reeves, <laughs> you can do it. But, I mean, so I bet somebody's going to come see him in there then. That has to be what happens. Has to be? Yes. Because has to be? Because otherwise, otherwise, it looks like she killed herself. And otherwise? It looks like he legit. Really? You're going to shoot her in the head? Well, he has to make sure it looks like he killed her because it's a marker. And he has to make sure it's obvious that he fulfilled it. <laughs> so you go to the dude and be like, yeah, I made it look like she killed herself, so I don't have anybody on me. No, no. I mean, he's still like, technically, I guess she... He, she was she went unconscious. He killed her before she had a chance to bleed out all the way. I, I just saying like that was that's stupid. She like committed the perfect crime for you. And no, then, it wasn't the perfect crime. He still had a responsibility. That this was man the, is honor driven. <laughs> this man's a moron. He had to kill her, so he killed her. Yep. We had to. And he had to kill her because we had to get the movie to keep going. Yep. Hold on a second. Common sees him. Common knows him. This is a common situation. <laughs> Sorry. There's going to be a lot more of these. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Obviously, there's a lot of common puns here. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a standoff. Afraid so. He said good night. He knows. Uh-huh. So, uh, because you were presently absent, he has bulletproof suits. They both do, apparently. They both do. They they, they both went to the same tailor, apparently, mm. and have a suit that is bulletproof, though it is painful to get shot. It just so, yeah. doesn't kill you. Gotcha. Because it's like a loose oh, Kevlar. Look at that. Rock it out. Yeah. It's like a loose Kevlar, then, I guess? Yeah, so it, like, it's, it's, like a, it's like a Kevlar-looking sheet that gets sewn into the fabric. They showed it. You you obviously 
I was here. We're here. Ish. Present. <laughs> to see that. Presently using the restaurant. Shot in <laughs> You know what's amazes me is like these people aren't freaking out sooner. Like, yeah, they're literally watching people get shot in the head, and they're just like, "What?" I guess the shock. I mean, I kind of, I kind of guess that makes sense. <laughs> this is now crazy. they're starting to run. Look at that. Now they're starting to freak out. Uh, they just thought it was part of the rave. Yep. Oh, fountain. God, it's gross. Oh, it's gonna just get better. Just the sheer brutality. So. Apparently those are lesser assassins, so they don't get cool. Suits. They don't. They don't have the money. They right. don't have the coins for it. Right. This is, they were like one of them was like gonna get his first coin tonight, and that was he was gonna go buy one of those suits. Wow, he really he <laughs> he planned <either>. poorly. <laughs> <laughs> and that this one guy he's about to kill, he was gonna retire tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't think it was necessarily to get a good suit. <laughs> no, no. You love those movies. Those like, oh yeah, it's time for me to yeah, retire, yeah, and then yeah, he dies. Right, right. I was like, ah. Oh. And Just the, one day sooner. The other guy, he was getting dry cleaned. Yeah. And he thought, ah, man. <laughs> I mean, one night. I mean. This is common shock face. <laughs> <laughs> He's stunned. There you go. And just pound it out. There you go. I've never taken a bullet to the bulletproof vest before, but <laughs> I imagine it hurts. Like Hit Girl. Oh, yeah. Barely even hurt. <laughs> I was using smaller bullets. <laughs> uh, that's a great movie. Yeah. And then they ruined it. No, I didn't ruin it, but I didn't like the second one near as much. Hmm. It wasn't a ruining, but it wasn't as good. Okay. What did you think? I don't like. I thought it was good. I mean, yeah, the first one was. I thought it was better. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like the Matrix, where it actually really actually. Oh yeah, it just like went. Yeah. Significantly downhill. But I just, Ooh. I had not. She just signed to him and flipped him off at the same time. But. She can't speak. Okay, I don't know if you've caught that yet. She, she, I don't know if she's deaf. I think it's or because she's. Mute. A, I think she's a bad actress. That's what it is. <laughs> Don't say it to her face. I think she could beat you up. <laughs> Probably. I think she's playing Batgirl. Or no, she is Batgirl on the CW, I think. Is she really? Mm. That's probably cool. Yeah. Which Batgirl is it? Is it like the new Batgirl or the... Uh, or Batwoman, maybe. Batwoman? Oh, okay. I can see that. Because like Barbara Gordon Batgirl. No, no, no. She's different. Batwoman. She's Batwoman. Okay. She's been in a few few things done pretty well i thought um she's i think she's in the meg no oh, another one another one bites the dust here you go i watched the bag late recent recently actually yeah yeah i didn't dislike it i, I mean i heard awful. <laughs> well, that's a that's high rating <laughs> well, cause i didn't dislike it because <laughs> i expected to dislike it i guess that's why i said it that way it was, it was, I mean, it wasn't a good movie necessarily, but it was, you know, you kind of knew what you were getting out of it. Yeah. It wasn't like surprisingly awful. Oh, yeah. I like that. It just flips out the clip there. The one thing they never really capture in this experience is how deaf everyone would be from firing weapons in this, in this tunnel system. Mm -hmm. And just the reverberation of these loud guns going off. In these small echoey spaces. What? No, exactly. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Where'd he go? I don't know. I can't hear anything. Oh, I like how he just threw the gun at him. That was pretty cool. He's resourceful. There you go. Now we have the, the payoff of him hiding the shotgun. So wait, wasn't that the girl that was like the other dudes? Her brothers. So the brother wants to kill him now. Uh, yeah, that's what it's leading up to. You're, you're kind of getting tipped uh, okay. off here that... Yeah. So that's what he's happened. he's getting double crossed. Yeah. So basically, he wants to kind of like not. So it's not out there that he killed his sister. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And he's gonna play it off as like I told you to kill my sister, but I can't in honor let you get away with killing my sister. Oh, that's gonna be that bullshit. Yeah. He said he's gonna be a dick. You killed my blood. 
Oh, this is crazy. He just he like, loads throws it. one oh. in while he's holding him down with the shotgun. That's this just... is very violent. I'm thinking after this and a Game of Thrones episode that we're going to watch tonight, I might be scarred. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we're, we're on the, what day is it now? The 12th? Yeah. We're May 12th. Fifth episode. Fifth episode of last season of Game of Thrones is yes. going on tonight, so we're, we're going to watch this after. It's probably going to be a lot of a lot of stuff. We're going to have an emotional time tonight. I'm going to probably stay in bed crying tomorrow all day. <laughs> Golly. Jeez. Oh, that guy was a bad shot. He had his chance. John Wick was looking away, grabbing for a gun. He had an open. Well, I think they, I think they completely scripted completely missed. <laughs> and these guys, look at it. Coming in after everything's done. You go that way. You go that way. Maybe she just whispers. No, no. She doesn't talk. <laughs> Oh, she is very disappointed. I kind of know something that happens at the end of this movie. I'm not going to say it, but I know it just from like the trailers of the third one. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, if, you, if you're watching this for the first time like I am. <laughs> right, yeah. He obviously he kills somebody at the Continental or one of those little places. The the setup for what's going to happen in the next movie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> when it's a master assassin, I, I suddenly can't shoot. They're equally good at dodging each other's bullets, apparently. <laughs> or are they just like wasting bullets so they can just get down to fist fights? I give up. <laughs> you know, they look like they're about the same height. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. Sorry. <laughs> you weren't supposed to find that funny. That's just something I said for Matt to, to find funny. That's uh, it's funny. This, I do love this. Like This is like the longest way to descend stairs. <laughs> This reminds me yeah. of Family Guy when he's fighting the chicken. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. God, God. Oh, that would be amazing. They should like have a cut of this where you replace them with with, with, with Peter, <laughs> Peter and, and the chicken. Chicken. <laughs> See, that's, that's Do, just doing this exact routine. It'd be amazing. <laughs> arm bar. There's no one getting out of that. I don't know. It's John Wick, man. If anybody <laughs> gets out of arm bar. Oh, with a knife to the face? See, he could have made so much more money at the uh, on the UFC. Probably not, actually. He has no, all the gold this, coins. This, I mean, if they staged the UFC, <laughs> which I, I'm understanding that they don't. <laughs> I'm not saying Keanu Reeves could have. I'm saying John Wick could have. Oh, John Wick. Are you saying like that's his retirement plan? <laughs> yeah, just go fight the UFC. Go fight the UFC. I don't know how to fight with I think you can get ma- make more money killing people than UFC. I'm not sure about that. I, I'm not. I don't know. I, I, I'm just guessing that it pays more. I see too many mistakes. I feel like he would have died by now. No, no. You're... So Common takes over as the uh, main star, huh? Yeah, it's... it's um... <laughs> John Common. John Common. <laughs> oh, is he in the... St- and they're in the Continental. I may have gave him that away too soon. There's the reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I got that. I said, oh, they're in the South Yeah, yeah. I feel like this is how sessions of Congress should end. 
if only we were this. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Instead of just like you know, we just brutally beat each other during the day, and then at the evening we go like, okay, I'll buy you a drink. We just sit down, and apparently people just don't show up at Congress anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't not vote if I don't show up. <laughs> this is really awkward. I had no choice. Well, I was going to retire tomorrow. No. He has no ward. That's great. I'm going to kill you later, or at least try to. Professional courtesy. <laughs> what do you say? Sorry. I'll can't. make I'll make it quick. Professional mm. courtesy, something like that. You know, the usual sort of yeah. assassin to assassin smack talk that goes on. <laughs> oh, there he says it. Tell me one gold coin bought two drinks. And it also buys a room at a hotel. And it also know. buys a suit. I don't know how... how this how currency is really confusing. Yeah. I think it's just kind of like a catch-all. Yeah. I think they definitely have like a um, so that's the girl. video game yeah. mentality with, with currency here. She'll be seeing him in the third movie? Is that what she said? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I see you first. Nice. <clears throat> Classic comeback. Yes, she can't talk. <laughs> if you would have been looking at your phone through most of this movie, I think you would have already caught this. He's not talking to me right now, by the way. This is mm -hmm. this is another conversation this happening. Is me and my wife. Oh man, that was the last style phone they had like that. <laughs> I do like that they're drinking. They don't show the label. It's Blanton's. It's like a really good whiskey. That was it. Yeah, the bourbon. Yeah, those little horses are collectible that they have on top in the corks. So that it's from Kentucky, then. It is. Well, I guess that's the only whiskeys they call bourbon. That's what I was wondering. Right. Isn't it? Technically, yeah, that's yeah. Technically, the the I mean, bourbon, bourbon is Kentucky bourbon. Or yeah, whisk. Bur bourbon is whiskey from Kentucky, right. from the bourbon They're, area of Kentucky. <laughs> right, right. Sort of like champagne is yeah, from yeah. A, the Champagne district. Like real champagne. Scotch is from Scotland. Hmm. Canadian whiskey is awful. I mean, from Canada. <laughs> hey, I like Canadian whiskey. That's Crown, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Crown like is Canadian. Crown.
You know, it's such a power move, too, when you just hang up on a person. I love how you wanted to offend, like, the most polite people that there is. Have you met Canadians? Yeah, very polite. <laughs> Some of them. Yeah. Have you seen the movie Canadian Bacon? Old movie. I feel like I have, but it's been a long time. They're polite until you insult their beer in that movie. They, uh. they start just going all out fist fight. So here comes the backstabbing part. Yeah. The laundry service at this hotel is amazing. So he's putting a hit on John Wick. Wait, wait. So who's he giving it to? Common? No, no, no. So it, this, uh-huh. so this is an agency. Okay. Where when they open up an account, yeah, for a certain amount, that basically every assassin in this network is going to n- know that there's a bounty on oh, John Wick's head gosh. for seven million dollars. Then just stay at the Continental. How many gold coins you got? Yeah. Well, he doesn't know that this hit is coming out on him yet. He knows the other guys are out. (laughs) Well, but he's too armed. He he can face it. He's John Wick. He he can take him. Wouldn't make as cool of a move if he was just hanging out at the pool of the Continental. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. You know, I'm just going to retire here, guys. (laughs) He's not that kind of guy. I also like there's this weird hybrid tech universe. Right, right. These women who have like 80s computers... 50s hairdos. Well, and like... Like tatted and up. And 30s, like, operating yeah, systems. Yeah. <laughs> Telephone. It's amazing. Okay, see? They're all getting the the contract now. He's back in New York? Well, he took a plane, you know. Yeah. Yes. Apparently a assassin-free plane. Holy crap, so it's going out everywhere. Though. Everybody, I told you, this whole network, the whole network now knows Like, there's a contract out for him. It's an open contract. She, now we know what the sign language for fucked is. Huh. <laughs> I know bullshit. <laughs> Do you know bullshit? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knew those violinists on the street were not to be trusted. Yep. He warned you. So he doesn't know that the marker's out on him? Now he knows. I mean, I'm like, he's got these people trying to kill him. So obviously, he knows. <laughs> this dude is, a, oh my goodness. It gets so brutal in this scene. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> like a sumo wrestler. Oh, shit. I guess everything's a non fatal wound to John Wick. <laughs> yep. Uh, that definitely hurts. <laughs> Can you just like reach in through the matrix and pull it out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it happens. Oh, that was her fiddle arm. Oh, you need to pay attention to this one. These these guys. This is this is now a famous moment. See what he just did? Picked up a pencil? He killed a man with a pencil. Golly. And mm. now he's killed two men. God. Oh, right through the ear. I don't even want to see that part. Yeah. He just jokered him. Oh, back of the skull. With a pencil. Who does that? Oh, top of the head. Mm. That guy's that guy's gone. So there you go. That's how that's how John Wick kills people with pencils. Huh. God. That guy took a bullet to the head. He was still conscious. These are all assassins. <laughs> Starts to feel that way, doesn't it? Who's coming next? The only person common. Oh no. What amazes me is there's no collateral damage here. They missed each other and somehow everybody else. Those are uh, very, uh, like, background people are not real people. So that's <laughs> <laughs> Yet they knew to yell, even though it was silenced, and there was a loud fountain going. Yeah. Well, if we're real honest, silencers don't really silence. They're, they're yeah, more like suppressors. That's so. true. They're well, still they loud. They suppressors, but I guess. This is hilarious, though. <laughs> the poorest time shots. Like, shoot him when he's not behind the thing. Yeah. I love how he's, like, so amazing shot all the other times. It's just like James Bond, where they're like, you know, he's... Yeah. Important people are hard to shoot. Right. Keanu Reeves was to Oh, Ooh. oh God. Oh. 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 Just after that moment, just go ahead and kill me. Oh. I don't want to live. Jeez. Looks not what it looks like. They tried to kill me, and I killed them instead. No, no, no. Okay, it is exactly. That like. <laughs> <laughs> and now a train's going to be a thing. What's he going to say? In this world is my world. <laughs> <laughs> so no one gets off the other side. And screaming. It's like, this is yeah. New York. We used to this stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Dead people just in the streets. Just around. In New York, it's, it's common. No, that's common. No, that's common. No, sorry. <laughs> no. I wonder how many more we got. So, we, we're already past our limits. <laughs> you know, still not the tensest subway ride anyone's ever had. No Billy Bats in Subway, right? That was a pretty cool subway. Except there was only like three people on the subway. Yeah. 
No, but he was in Philadelphia, so that kind of makes sense. I guess. Nothing like the charisma of two hardened assassins slash handsome men staring at each other intently. (laughs) If they start snapping, I swear. That's just... (laughs) Would you're a shark, you're a shark all the way... No. (laughs) Be honest, first time I saw this, I almost was expecting to kiss. They're just watching now. Yeah, I think one of them is uh, is is a spy uh, using of... using his phone, just like uh. guys. Guess what's happening on the subway? Crazy New York. So I don't. Yeah, whatever. I mean, what? I just you know, granted that they they do that in all these movies, but it's like like last time they were on pretty much equal footing, and John Wick wasn't shot. You know what I mean? Like, how is uh, he? He's just pulling it. He has the he has the will, the determination. He's the to one keep going. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Oof. You know, it kind of looks like they kind of made up and hugged it out at the end yeah. there. So in case you couldn't hear what he just said. He said, if you pull it out, you'll bleed and die out. So he's given the choice of, like, taking himself to the hospital and giving up trying to kill him. But. But, but he's, but he wouldn't give up. Doesn't John Wick know that? Like, so he's just going to go to the hospital now. He's going to come back to him. Maybe. I mean, it's going to take him a while to recover from that kind of wound. I mean, that's. Yeah, like, Matt. There you are. Yes, I am a. You custodial in the in the subway system? I didn't know. Sometimes, you know, underground it's assassin. A, it's a it's a it's a living. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. I mean, right? It's, it's honorable. Who else is going to keep him clean? A gold coin. Even the homeless. Or assassins? He said, take it where? Tell him it's John Wick. Take me to him. It wasn't specific. So he's... A f- no. fake assassin? A no, fake no. He's, assassin? He's, uh, he's a homeless guy that's an assassin. Yes. No one suspects the homeless when you're dragging dead bodies through the subway. But, so he didn't get the call out that his John Wick was worth $7 million? Well, I mean, maybe uh, John Wick has allies. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so now he's in the Continental, I guess. No, he's not in the Continental. He's in the hospital. Oh, my goodness. Some amazing walking in this movie. Oh, wait, you got you got to watch. See who who he's taking him to. This is a 
Thank you, Bella, for this. Is, this this will be the. This moment is a is a. It's a moment of destiny. Is it, is it gonna be fishborn or fish? Fishborn. Fishborn. <laughs> What is this? Fishburn. Fishburn. Yeah. And he's going to offer him a red pill or a blue pill. <laughs> I knew he was in the third one. The the chosen one. I don't know that he is, but if Lawrence Fishburn is a preacher somewhere, I would go to that church. <laughs> yeah. Just, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know, like, necessarily listen to what he says, but just to hear him say it. In his like really eloquent preachery voice. Pigeons? That's a really squeaky chair. I'm glad it's made of uh, it's forever appearance in these commentaries. <laughs> Can you hear it? In the, we'll find out. Either that or it'll be us talking about a thing that no one else can hear. <laughs> ah, see? Call me Morpheus. Applebee's, you know, because it's Applebee's. John, 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 John. You know, John is like the most common action hero name. Don't get ahead of yourself, John. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just making the comment. I'm just putting it out there. So you're saying like John Wick. John Constantine. John Constantine. Uh, John Connor. Hmm. Uh, John something of Mars. John Carter. Mm -hmm. What's the guy's? Uh, I think it's uh, Brave uh, Die Hard. Yeah, Die Hard. His name is John. John McClane. McClane. Mm. McClain. Starting to build a case. Uh, John. I think uh, Stallone has played a couple of Johns. So I didn't catch any of this, but he's been following, and so the the argument is that if he said he can help him, so I'm guessing he's gonna do something if, else that's gonna fuck him over. The guy, oh, if the me, if the uh, guy wants the guy that wants John Wick dead, mm -hmm. if he takes over, he's gonna take over everything and be bad for everyone in New York. <clears throat> so they're inclined to help him. So he has a seat too, this guy. No, no. But they're if, if Santino takes this, gets the seat. 
he has certain pull over New York. And he's going to try to take over. It's the most badass choice I think anyone's ever had to make. Just one, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good line. So like he only gave him seven bullets? Yep. So he has seven bullets to go into this place and try to kill his his mark. But it's John Wick. So I'm sure he used a lot of those wine glasses or champagne glasses. <laughs> <coughs> It's going to turn into Wanted. He's going to be curving the bullets. No, they keep it believable-ish. <laughs> You're right. God, I hate that. That was such a yeah, that, stupid that movie concept. Was crazy. But you know who it introduced us to that that I don't think I remember him anything. I'm sure he was that actor, but I don't remember him anything before that. John Michael? Yeah. Another John. Yeah, but he's not an action character. Right. Fair enough. But he is Professor X. Yes. And apparently he's an older kid from It. Yes, he is. You know, if I was in this place, I would be very paranoid about me not belonging in this place. You ever get that feeling? You just, you know, walk into a room and you're like, oh yeah, I don't need to be here. I kind of feel that right now with your silence. Your judgy, <laughs> McJudgy silence. Who, my <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got intently watching the movie for a second. Oh, yeah. Stand up. Yep. There went the seven. So he's going to take somebody else's gun. <coughs> yeah, holster that. Oh yeah, he holds him down, kills the other two first, and then comes back to him. You know, this is a really good lesson in prioritizing your commitments. <laughs> it's really focused. We ought to write a book, the the John Wick method of succeeding. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a new video idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One, be prepared. <laughs> two, aim for the head. Three, resourcefulness. Never thought to wear shit armor, did you? No. John, Ar <laughs> John, John Wick, Wick did. did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's weirder is all the art in this museum gets more valuable after this moment. <laughs> John Wick comes back and does a signing tour of all the bullet holes. Why are you running away? Why are you running? I thought you were some yeah. badass. Yeah, I thought you like weren't scared of the boogeyman. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's insane. He's you know, seen this. It's crazy is, you know, apparently this this is nothing compared to the thing he had to do to get out of the assassin game. What? Yeah, like the his yeah. like act of impossible thing is supposed to be like so epic. It's supposed to be more epic than this, even. Uh, when did they talk about that? Later? They talked about it through the whole like in the first one and then the second yeah. one they because that was he had to do like this impossible task to get out of the business, and he pulled it off. So then, why would like that guy? I guess he's just a moron because that guy is the guy who gave him his. Freedom. Well, that's saying he helped him out on that night, and in exchange for helping him on that night, John Wick gave him a marker. Right, but in order to turn on John Wick, he's acting like he's surprised that John Wick's able to pull this off. Well, you know, his former boss in the first movie was all, like, surprised that John Wick killed everybody yes. coming up to him, too. So. Yeah. So a lot of stupid people in this movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, criminal organizations apparently aren't that, aren't led by masterminds, exactly. It's a lot of mirrors there. You know, the world has been missing... A gunfight in a hall of mirrors. This reminds me of uh, Enter the Dragon. Oh, Isn't great movie. Enter the Dragon. Yeah, yeah Enter the Dragon. Yeah. But it's a gunfight, but they do have like this pursuit in a mirror. Yeah, yeah maze. Um, obviously not a gunfight, but I was just saying. <laughs> what? John Wick's not gonna run away. You're you're the one that got the hit. Ass. <laughs> yeah, you could have just let him retire. Right. So much death. Golly. So is he like a k- killer grid too, or no? So he's just like him, this guy. Uh, no, he's just a boss. He's just a management guy. Oh, okay, I got it. And he's an inheritant management guy, right? That's the thing. He's an in- he's inheriting. His position from his dad, well, technically from his now his dead sister. But. I kind of have a feeling though he's gonna want to be the, the boss guy too. Then maybe. Mm, yes, maybe. but in a different kind of way. In a different context. He's he's not formidable. Okay. Let me put it that way. So he's not. Okay. He's just a dick. Okay, gotcha. He's definitely not better than that Russian in the last movie. Right. The guy actually put up a fight. Yeah, which John Wick was hurt, but still. <laughs> See, has John Wick ever tried the, oh, you got me? <laughs> uh, no, I don't, I don't think he'll do that. Yeah. He should try that one. <laughs> you should send that in to him. Yeah. Mr. Wick, I've noticed you've never tried the fake out oh, move. You really should. I think it would be effective for right. you. Right. You could go, oh, that was me getting shot right there. Yeah. And they would you, never see it coming. And then you'll, you'll, you'll take a different accent. And you say, yeah. I got him. I killed John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> they come in and you kill them. It's a genius plan. I know. Now I'm liking this idea of just like writing advice <laughs> letters to to action heroes. <laughs> Dear Mr. Iron Man, have you tried just like chest well, blasting well, everyone? Oh, okay. Yes. It's okay. I was afraid we were about to spoil. No, that. I'm not saying anything related to the to in game. <laughs> uh, that, do- that could be a funny like, little skit <laughs> video that we do with like in between. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. <laughs> he knows how reflections work. Wow. This is physics in action. That man knows that when you're looking at a mirror, where to point your gun. <laughs> He's very smart. He is very smart. Hot potato. I bet Ke Keanu Reeves is actually probably like a crazy fighter just from all the what the training that he's yeah, gone through with this. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm not saying he's like obviously he's not like this, but you know. yeah, I but, think I think he would be in the temple of the faceless god in Game of Thrones. Yeah, or he would just be like a crazy good assassin. Either way. <laughs> Golly. He's really good at prioritizing. <laughs> I told you. He like he knows who to aim for. I'm like, all right, I gotta go do that that guy first, but this guy between my knees. Yes. He can hold on for a second. You're dealt with this guy above you. Go, cool, I'll finish this <laughs> early. <laughs> Obviously. We'll never see you again. <laughs> all right. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> It's amazing how many of those shots they put in movies, you know, just form fitting. Hello. Yeah. Just right out of the gate going for the knifing. She has like a spider monkey style. She's just like flailing. <laughs> oh, did she get him? Ow. Oh, he dies here. I guess there's not a third one. Yeah, that's that's where they throw you off. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's very twisty. Yeah. <laughs> very twisty. Oh. Ah. Ah. Wow. You can keep this you, here. You pegged her hand to, to her heart. You can keep this here. Or I or can pull this. I oh, just, sorry. I just You're kill dead. you. No, You're I'm dead. not going to give you a choice. You're, I really don't like you. You just never talk to me much. I didn't get to know you. <laughs> I mean, if you would have had a drink like Common and I, I, mean, I would have given you a chance. Yeah. You're definitely you never gave me a chance. I wanted you to buy me a drink. You're definitely not Common. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, wait, what did she say? She said, be seeing you. Oh, yeah. And he was like, sure. And just walked <laughs> off. Yeah. Oh, well, this is set up for the third one, eh? The Continental. The manager is always in. So there's some autonomy between. Don't they have to give up their gun? No. They just, it's a rule that you're not supposed to kill. Yeah. I'm afraid that's probably about to happen here. If I can remember. I don't want it to happen, but I know it's going to set up a third one, so for sure. Just setting up the smugness of this guy. Just gonna sit here and eat a meal. Thank you. 
just broke some fucking oh god. Yeah, I know. They just the, the third episode's about to happen. The timing of that is just yeah. his last bullet. You finish nothing. Good dog. <sighs> it's like he knew. He knows. Like, hmm. maybe he is addicted to it. <laughs> maybe that guy had a point. Because he literally just opened a whole other can of worms. Yeah, yeah. The guy taunted him. He said, finished it. But maybe his his true purpose is to just topple the whole system. Apparently. So he's like the one. <laughs> That's right. He is the one. Did you ever play the God of War games? Yeah, we'll play one through three. Yeah, yeah. It kind of reminds me of that story arc, right? Because in the first bit. one, yeah, he, yeah. he beats his like main opponent, and then he... Yeah. It like progressively Ares, takes on like the hierarchy. more and more of the pantheon. Yeah. You should play the new one. Yeah, I know. I don't have PlayStation. I don't care. You should play. The Learn new how one. to play it without a PlayStation. I didn't ask for your excuses. That is like a, a superb dog. Like it's just so well behaved. Yeah. Not like you, Bella. <laughs> You're a very sweet dog too, Bella. We love you. Yeah, if you like the dog that attacks you with licks every second. Huh. I didn't hear the doorbell. Weird. You know you have a leak in your roof? The one thing I'm waiting for is he's gonna he's gotta get his car back at some point. <laughs> From the repair shop, you know. It's it's gonna probably be the third one. <laughs> and then the it's very the end. Or the very beginning. Yeah. But when he gets destroyed again. <laughs> but then it'll be like an epilogue at the end of the third movie. Yeah. Ten years later, he yeah. finally gets his car back. The guy sitting at the fountain tells you the rules of what's about to happen. That's right. We live by rules, John. John. Oh, sir, Jonathan.
Flash mob. Yeah, this guy's good at power moves. Everyone works for me. Was that a haiku? <laughs> That's an awesome setup. For the right? Episode, right? I told you. Get you excited <laughs> for his What's coming? You said an hour. Well, just watch. One hour. So he can buy stuff for an hour. Yeah, I mean, he has an hour to prepare himself. Worldwide. Okay, Mike Tyson. Hey, you say that, but when the apocalypse happens and you need to communicate, pigeons. <laughs> well, so that guy was part of it then. So, how is he going to get his car back? Because he's excommunicado. That's what I think, yeah. Maybe the guy's going to hold on to it until the end or something. I don't know yet. That mom's an assassin. <laughs> that looked like Gilly. Nah, not really. Yeah. Did. Fu Manchu's an assassin. Well, handlebar, I don't know. Yeah, you better thing. hurry with the, your... It's just, the paranoia seeps in, right? And like, everybody's an assassin. Those guys are assassins. That weirdo's an assassin. That hot dog vendor's an assassin. <laughs> that weird couple's an assassin. That guy's definitely ZZ Top just is an assassin. <laughs> that guy? No, he, he's just minding his own business. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's just Joaquin Phoenix. Well, we know that guy. We better get in a car really fast, brah. You should have let that guy keep your dog a little longer. Well, he couldn't. It's, you know. Oh. He's got to take the dog with him. Dog's going to be important. That was it. That was John Wick 2. Yeah. How'd you think, Mr. Reaction here? That was... It was really good. It was Pretty very epic. disturbing. Yeah. But I'm... I'm I'm ready Stoked. for the third one. Next uh, week, yeah, it's going to happen. All right. Well, we've got to turn this off so we can watch some Game of Thrones. Yeah. You can enjoy the credits without us talking through them. Absolutely. He's still running, as you can tell. Yep, always. Um, yeah, as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Be yeah. sure to like and subscribe. Leave comments below if you want us to uh, take up some movies or TV that we haven't 
right. covered yet, which if is you need a lot. us to write any letters to any characters to let them know what they should. Be yeah, doing. exactly. Correction letters, yes. advice. Right. You know, <laughs> maybe don't kill somebody in the comments. <laughs> yeah, that's rule one. <laughs> don't don't do spill bloods. Right. On the continental ground. Okay, we're out of here. Bye.